Mashed potatoes right here, page 132 in Dining Eye Dime Cookbook. Mike will put the link in there. This is actually fairly quick, guys, because, well, it's mashed potatoes. It doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna make soap afterwards. But what you do is you just peel your potato, okay? So let me peel my potato here. I'm sharing the link to the website where the article, where the recipe is, but there are also other traditional Thanksgiving recipes. And <clears throat> this is mom's little trick. I'm only cutting one because I've already got them started over here, but this is mom's special knife. But this is mom's trick for mashed potatoes. Um, take and just slice them in quarters lengthwise and don't cut it all up in little pieces and just boil it like this because it saves a whole lot of work. So just do it in quarters and then Oh man, am I the only person who loves raw potato? Oh, yum. Then, you can see here, I've had it boiling, okay? So I'm sticking my knife in and see, it just goes straight in. These babies are ready. So, let me drain them. Aha! I had trouble closing Thank it. you, Dave. Oh, Joanne says, mashed potato is my favorite comfort food. Now, I'm at high altitude, so I have to boil these for 25 to 30 minutes. Normal people only need to boil them about 10 to 15 minutes, but at high altitude, things cook slower, so I have to cook them a little bit longer. So, just depending on where you are, start off with 10 to 15 minutes, try sticking your knife in. If it doesn't go in easy, cook them a little bit longer, okay? So I'm gonna drain them, and you can see, how wonderful that is, and I forgot to get my mixer. All right. Hey, thanks for everybody who's joining us today. Look at those numbers. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> after you're done cooking your mashed potatoes, you're gonna mix up your mashed potatoes with the rest of the ingredients, okay? So I start by just kind of getting them a little going together. Now you can use one of those smasher things, but a good old mixer actually gets some really smooth and creamy. The masher thing, you can mash all day long till you're purple and you still don't get all the lumps out. <laughs> Brenda says lots of garlic, please. So that was my next tip actually I was going to tell you. If you like garlic mashed potatoes, <coughs> which is also on page 132 in Dining on a Dime cookbook, you can put 10 to 15 garlic cloves in here and boil it with your mashed potatoes. And then when, just leave them in there. And then when you mix up your garlic, it just mashes with your potatoes and it's just great. Okay, then you're gonna add your sugar. I know, don't have a cow, you can't taste it though. And it really um, makes a huge difference in the taste. And then you're gonna add your milk. And then your salt, because the world needs more salt, people! <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you agree. And if you don't agree, give me a thumbs up anyway, just because you love me. in there okay so and I added the garlic uh, thing to that same post to make sure that they know they can do the garlic yep the garlic is super good and if you don't have garlic cloves do you want garlic tonight it's your eating night do you want garlic sure if you don't have garlic cloves you can just take and add some garlic powder to it okay which I'm gonna do here Margaret says I like some lumps your company knows they're not instant <laughs> well that's true but you can have real mashed potatoes without lumps too. So I'm gonna mix in my garlic. Okay, 
So now, this is what it looks like according to the recipe. Now, is that not delicious? No lumps, nothing. But for me and my family, I add some butter already to it. And then I mix in the butter. Now, that's not in the recipe. Well, it is. But I add a little bit more, I should say, than what's in the recipe. <clears throat> It smells so good. All right, Dave, can you have me a little bowl? <clears throat> Man, it smells really delicious. Okay, so now we're gonna put our creamy mashed potatoes. And if you want them rustic, just leave on the Skins, wash them, of course, really well. Get your dollop of butter in there. Clean up my little mess here. So, Amy, there's no, is there, there's, I assume there's not daylight savings in Australia, but am I incorrect? Everybody says it ends November 5th. Oh, great. Sunday? Yeah. Does that mean the Jane? Oh, man, you? that smells really okay, good. Okay, so, Dave, come on, Dad. No. Let's do taste test. Yes. Melissa wants to know if we're making gravy. I am not making gravy today, but that is on my list to do. Jack wants. Jack. Um, Jack, do you want a taste test? David, where are you going? We need the camera moving. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I camera you... operator is falling down on the job. Well, I thought you were saying you wanted me to eat it. Okay. Like, so. I don't like mashed potatoes, but okay. I love these. Hold on, they're hot, they're hot. Yes, Diane. Everyone was sick. Thankfully, we're almost all over it. Why don't we have another new It was like toaster? three weeks for me. <laughs> for me, is that super yummy goodness? Yeah. For me, the taste is mm. amazing. It's just the texture, and I don't like the texture. Yum, yum. Oh, man, that is so delicious. If it was like fried, like fries or something, that would be amazing. Okay, ah. here we go. Yum. Oh, yum. Can I have the rest of those? Those well? are really good. <laughs> Pat says, I love your cookbook and use it all the time. I especially love the section on gift baskets. Wonderful for Christmas presents. Yes. So we have a whole section in here that is only gift basket recipes. So, and if you'll notice, we even have the little cutouts that you guys can copy these and print it out and cut it out on nice cardstock paper. So we've got turkey noodle soup, we've got bean soup, we've got shortbread, snickerdoodles, funnel cake, chocolate peanut butter cookies, muffins. All of these are great for like teacher gifts and those kinds of things. Super, super handy. Oh my goodness, that was so good. I can't, oh, and I'm hungry. Yes. Yeah, the sugar helps bring out the savoriness of the mashed potatoes and you don't know it's in there it doesn't taste sweet it's not a sweet it's only one to two tablespoons depending on how many mashed potatoes you use so does it I want more my denise goodness. says i add lots more butter you can never have enough butter oh yeah i add a ton of butter usually but me too you love it as long as it's the eating day <laughs> sorry um Marie is asking, do your cookbooks and soap books ever go on sale? Sometimes. Yes, our cookbooks were just on sale, but we are going to have um, them on sale for Christmas. <clears throat> but uh, yes, they do go on sale. Okay. Oh, Lisa so says I that... love butter and cream cheese in mine. Oh, yeah, cream cheese would be really good too. Oh, yeah. Wait, Rose, Rosemary says butter and milk only for this Irish gal. I've never thought about putting milk in. I did put milk. Oh, in. you put milk when you're making it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I was thinking like as an extra. Sorry. No. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make some soap since that was so quick. You guys, that's the beauty of dining on a dime. Is the recipes are super quick and easy Lots and simple. Way. Really, you only spend like five to seven minutes making the majority of the recipes in here. So, <laughs> don't think you're gonna have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. 